True fans live for their team. For those true U of A fans, there is Hughes Federal Credit Union. Show your U of A spirit and put technology and convenience at your fingertips. Hughes Federal Credit Union. Smart choice. Welcome to Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley, here with Greg Hansen. Greg, we are Tucson stereotypes here, and I'm going to have to apologize to our five viewers as we start this show. It is September, it is week three of the college football season, and what do you want to talk about, because it's what everybody's talking about, is... The best video I saw all week wasn't NFL or college football, it was... College basketball. It was college basketball. Not only college basketball, it was incoming freshman Lori Markinen. And wow. If you've seen if you haven't seen the video, pause us, go watch it, come back. He is incredible. DraftExpress.com. Right. It's well done. It's first class yeah. production. Yeah. I mean the the speculation from Draft Express is he could be a top five pick in the NBA draft. This is a kid who has yet to play a college game stateside. It's funny, I was at the U of A library this morning. Um, waiting for someone, and in the breezeway there by the first floor library, Laurie Markin had walked by, and I, I kind of went, wow, <laughs> because he's every bit of 7'1". Wow. And when I watched that video of him, I thought, there's no way a guy that mobile, mm -hmm. that good of a ball handler with both hands, right. and three-point shooter, right. can be 7'1". Right, right. He's not Lauren Woods. He is not Keith Van Horn. No. I mean, he's Dirk Nowitzki. Nowitzki. Right, exactly. And, and a guy who I think by maybe game two will be everybody's favorite Arizona Wildcat. I remember the buildup for Chase Budinger. Yeah. And then he scored 32 points right away against yeah. NAU, mm -hmm. I think in his second game, maybe his first game. I mean, he's not even in the ballpark as a prospect with Laurie Markkinen. Right. It's, to me, it's what makes this upcoming season so interesting. It's not just that Arizona is going to be good. It's going to be that for the first time, I think in three or four years, Arizona is going to have a consensus top three or four pick on their team. And, you know, adding to this, the impression that was made on me when I saw him, he was with Raleigh Alkins. Right. Have you ever seen Raleigh no, Alkins? No, no, He looks like, he looks like some guy out of a movie. Wow. I mean, and nobody's talking about him. Right. He's a guard. <laughs> he's this big. I mean, they've got players. But he looks like a tight end. And he's yeah. playing guard. Yeah. To me, you can kind of look at the Sean Miller era in kind of three sections, right? You had the no easy buckets era, like Kevin Parham, everybody plays defense, slow the game down. Then you had kind of the Stanley Johnson, Aaron Gordon era where you were getting pretty good players. This is a completely separate deal. Oh. I mean, Markinen and the incoming DeAndre Ayton in 2017 uh, may just be the two best recruits to ever commit to the University of Arizona. There's probably not too much question to that on paper. On paper. And as you said, so aptly, they're never going to play with one another. <laughs> that's, the, that's the terrible part, right, is if Lori Markinen is who we think he is, yeah. he's staying for a year. DeAndre Ayton told our Bruce Pascoe last week, he's coming, but he's only staying for a year. Yeah. Um, all of a sudden, you know, you could go bam, bam. There's a possibility, Greg, that you could go back-to-back -back number ones overall, and what would that do for Arizona? Well, it's already been manifest. Just getting those two, right. the momentum now is... I mean, Lute Olson had momentum every year. Right. He never, he never failed. But this is, this is a different stage. This is different. This is different. And uh, what I like about both those guys is that they're big guys who can shoot, do guard things. To me, that means that Arizona basketball is going to be fun to watch. This is not just give the ball the big man in the paint. And then, and we'll go into this many times later. Mm -hmm. You put a Ray Smith with those guys. I know. A Ray Smith at Arizona State or Cal. That's all they'd be talking about. Right. You're right. It's going to be a heck of a year. I, I, win or lose, regardless of how far they go, this might be the most interesting team Sean Miller has had at Arizona. Yeah. I, I paid for a season ticket last week, too. Oh, my. Yeah. Oh, my. Just to back up in case they pull my press, press credential. <laughs> you go too far in one column and you're out of there? Yeah. <laughs> they have too much power now. <laughs> Well, before we say too much, uh, that'll do it for this episode of Greg Hansen's Video Notebook brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. For Greg Hansen, 7-1. Seven 7-1. One. Seven yeah, he's, one. he's that, too. God. I'm Ryan Finley. We'll see you next time.